What's up guys, Andrew here from Tom Goods Media. There's a recipe that I've always wanted to try with pork, and that's cooking it with beer. I've seen plenty of people do it, but I want to see if you could actually taste the beer even if it's cooked. For today, I've got some really badly butchered pork shoulder, which I'll be using for my experiment. The plan is to saute the vegetables and sweat out the pork shoulder along with the spices. Adding the beer 30 minutes before the pork is cooked thoroughly so that the beer taste wouldn't be watered down. There's no point in making this video then if that happens. For braising pork or anything in general, my general rule is try to cut the meat into even pieces so that they cook evenly. You decide on how big or small you want your meat to be cut, I'm just slicing it into about an inch thick. Next, I'm gonna cut some aromatics, just some onions and some garlic cloves. Make sure to have a trash bowl around at all times so that your working area is all clean and organized. Oh, and I decided to add an orange juice just for added flavor and juiciness. Ergo, this orange. Now for the dry rub. Technically not a rub, cause I didn't really rub it onto the meat, but I'm simply going to throw it all into the stew. But for the dry rub mixture, I went with a tablespoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of salt, and a fourth teaspoon of garam masala. Again, this is all just an experiment and I don't really know if this will all go well together with the beer and the orange juice, but I'm feeling adventurous today. Just so you'd know what garam masala tastes like, it's like a mixture of cinnamon, fennel seeds, cardamom, cumin seeds, and a bunch more spices, but that's just the general taste of it usually. Heat up some oil in a medium saute pan and saute the vegetables, adding this tiny bay leaf I found outside and some black pepper. Cook the vegetables until it's all fragrant, probably for about 4 to 5 minutes. Add in the pork and mix it all together so that the pork gets coated with all the aromatics and the oil. Now, add the spice mixture we made a while ago. It may look like it's a lot, but it's not. Mix it all up and cover with the lid and lower the heat. Note that I didn't add any more water because the liquid from the pork will start to come out and that's a good thing. Leave it cooking for about an hour, stirring occasionally. While that's cooking away, I remembered I had an avocado. Let's make a side salad with it. Thinly slice some onions and put it into a bowl. This looks like the trash bowl we had earlier but it's a completely different bowl. Don't get it mixed up. Anyway, dice up some tomatoes removing the seeds and add it into the bowl. I also added some cilantro that I chopped roughly. Now for the avocado. I didn't use the whole thing because as you can see, it's gigantic. So I'm only using half of it. With a spoon, remove the flesh and dice them up. Don't season it yet because nobody wants a watered down salad. Season it last when you're just about to eat it. You can add in a little touch of citrus so that the avocado doesn't oxidize quick. I'm using the juice of four calamansi, which wasn't really enough. So I added a little bit of orange juice. Any citrus would do really to prevent it from browning and to add more flavor. Mix it gently so that you don't make it into mush. Cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate until you're ready to eat it. Make sure that you're stirring the pork occasionally to prevent it from burning or sticking to the bottom of the pan. After an hour, the liquid should have reduced, which looks like this. And the meat should be tender but not quite there yet. Now is the time to add the beer and the orange juice. Choose any beer you'd want to use. For this video, I have San Miguel Pale Pilsen to use, but really, any beer would do. San Miguel, sponsor me for future videos of beer, thank you, just kidding. Put the flame to medium high heat so that the sauce would reduce and thicken. Once we've reduced it to our liking, make sure to taste it and adjust for seasoning. I added in a tablespoon of sugar so that the flavors would balance out. The pork has a slight bitter taste and I'm assuming it's from the beer, and I like it. I think the experiment was a success. You can taste the beer even if it's cooked. Don't forget about your side salad. Grab the avocado mixture from the fridge and season it with salt and pepper. Mix it all together. I'm sure this would go perfectly with the warm soft tortilla. But since I'm Filipino, I have rice over here. Maybe next time I'll make a video with some soft tortillas. Let me know in the comment section below what you want to see me cook next. Time for the taste test. So, the pork is definitely tender, since the beer also tenderizes the meat. A little fatty because of the cut of the meat, but it's all nice and soft. I taste a bit of the beer at the end but it's not overpowering. I also think the spices went well together with everything. You guys should try it out and let me know if it turned out alright as well. Don't forget about the side salad. I thought it went perfectly with the pork. It adds a bit of freshness to the dish. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe to Tom Goods Media. 
This is Andrew signing off. Again, let me know what you guys want to see me cook for the next videos to come.